Now let's figure out how much the single person making $50,000 a year would pay in state income taxes, assuming that they're in a state that has income taxes. And this right here are the current tax brackets for my state. And every state will have different income tax brackets, and they're likely to change year after year. But the important thing to take away is just how all of this is calculated. So at the state level, you still get you still, or at least the state I'm in, there is a standard deduction. It's $3,769 for a single filer, for a single person. And instead of having a personal exemption, which reduces your taxable income, which is what we saw at the federal level, they have a tax credit, a personal tax credit, which is essentially just a credit on your taxes. So this doesn't reduce your taxable income. This can actually be used against the actual taxes that you owe. So first, let's think about what our taxable income is in my state. So I'm starting with $50,000. $50,000 is my gross income. And then I have a standard deduction in my state, a standard deduction in my state of $3,769. $3,769 gets me to taxable income in my state of $46,231, or $46,231. Now, if you look at these brackets, it looks like we are falling into this 8% bracket right over here. But just as we said in, this, in the federal example, that does not mean we pay 8% on all $46,231. $46, it means we only pay the 8% on the increment above $37,005. For the rest of the brackets, we pay 1% on the first 7,000, or first 7,124, 2% on the increment up to 16,980, so on and so forth. So let's calculate what that is. So we are going to pay, we are going to pay 1%. 1% on the first $7,124. Then to that, we're going to pay 2%. We're going to pay 2% on the increment up to $16,980. And that increment is $16,980 minus $7,124. And then we are going to pay 4%. We're going to pay 4% on the increment up to $26,657. And so that's that number minus $16,890. And then we are going to pay 6%. We are going to pay 6% on the increment up to $37,005. So it's $37,005 minus 26657 and then we're in the home stretch here we're going to pay we're going to pay 8% on the increment on the increment above $37,005 so our taxable income we already saw is 46,231 so it's 46,231 minus 37,005 37,005 brings us to, did I type all of that in right? Let's see, 7 times 1%, and then we have 2% times, yep, that looks right, then we have 4%. I want to make sure I'm typing all this in correctly. And then 37,000 minus 26,657, and then that's 6%, and then 8% on that last increment. Drum roll, please. We get to $2,018 just based on the brackets right over here. So 2,000, so at the, at the state level, at the state level, it looks like we have $2,018 just based on our taxable income. But now we have to factor in this tax credit. And a tax credit as opposed to a deduction. Remember, a deduction or an exemption takes, it reduces your taxable income. A credit goes directly against your taxes. So we were going to pay 2018 but we get, a, we get a credit of $102, which gets us to what? That gets us to $1,916. $1,916 in state taxes. So our total taxes, $9,754 at the federal level, $1,916 at the state level. And so our actual take-home pay is going to be, you see, $50,000 is what we're starting with. We're going to pay, we're going to pay at the federal level. I actually already figured out in the last video what we're left with. But at the federal level, we're going to start out, we're going to pay $9,754. Then at the state level, we're going to pay 1916 getting us to 38330 take-home pay. 38330 is what I'm actually 
I'm actually going to be able to spend. And so based on this, we can figure out what an effective tax rate is based on both the federal and state income tax. So we are, if we look at that as a fraction of our original income, 50,000, we are left with 76.6%. Or another way of thinking about it is roughly 23.4 or 23 and a third percent of your income gets taken for taxes. That is your effective tax rate. So effective tax rate, let me write this, effective, effective tax rate. And then we are including both federal, federal plus state, federal plus state. Just look at the number again. You're keeping 76.6, .6, so you are paying 23.4, 23.3, actually it looks like 23.34. So approximately 23, approximately 23%. If you want to think on a monthly basis, at $50,000 you thought, so $50,000, you thought that you would be taking home 4,166 a month, but now you're actually going to be taking home 38,330 divided by 12. You're only going to bring home about 3,000, a little bit under 3,200 a month. So you have to plan accordingly.